How lucky am I? Come to Thailand, and about three or four days later, the Australian government basically puts a travel ban on and tells everyone to come home. I'd been in Thailand a few days. I said, that I ain't going nowhere. I'd rather be here. Locked down. Turns out I ra made the right decision. going on DFs? So it's been 24 days since we were in Chantaburi and we're now continuing the trip. The reason I had to uh, put a stop to it was I got bitten by a mosquito and got dengue fever. Ended up at Pattaya International Hospital in Soy 4 and diagnosed with dengue fever and yeah there's about four or five days that were really bad and then all up took me about 14 days to recover just looking at the map now we're on our way to Lam Not Pier to make our way to Koh Mac estimated travel time is 18 minutes and the last boat leaves in 10 minutes so it's not looking good anyway that's the latest wish us luck hi so Kinya is behind the wheel she's doing a very good job <laughs> Excellent. Estimated travel time, three minutes, 1.4 kilometre. The boat company's just rang and they're going to wait for us. So that's a relief. So we've made it, 4.30 on the dot. But where do we park the car? Oh fuck, and this is the Hong Nam. Gotta take a slash. And they said, yeah, just go around there. So this is where I'm taking a slash. You gotta go, you gotta go. Alright, let's rock and roll. Bye bye, mainland. That's it, open them up. into Comac now. Some beautiful sights on the way. Not sure whether I picked them up on camera or not. Had the sun glaring in the background. Beautiful. So the resort we're staying at is called Lazy Day Resort. Not sure how far it is from the pier but the price includes transport and five meals it's about three and a half thousand baht per head for two nights from there going to move on to Kokud you know some places just have a vibe I'm liking Komak already two minutes in This is it, lazy day, and here comes a dog. What's going on, buddy? Hello. Hey, mate. Heaps of dogs around, that's cool. What a bad view. So yeah, two nights here. We've lost half a day unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. Hey, stop rubbing up against me, dog. Look at that.
these are the rooms here originally we did book the best one room number one I assume it's down there and I got sick and because it's a long weekend it's very busy there's only about eight rooms here I think I think we're in number four You can literally see the sun going down by the second. Look at that. And bang, she's gone. That was unedited. That's it, buddy. Do the hard yards. So this is the room. Absolute beachfront. We're kicking back here. Later on tonight, might even get some action down here. Why not? Thailand is a beautiful country. It's the room. Hopefully there's not too many mosquitoes. Don't want another bed of dengue. Oi! Come here! Ma, ma! Ma! Ma, ma! Ma! They understand Thai, obviously. Thai dogs. There's the view from the shower. What's that? Looks like one turtle f***ing another one. Am I seeing things or what? Alright, checked in now. It's been a hectic day, let me take it in for a minute. Set the alarm for 7 this morning, was up to about 2. Meant to get picked up at 12, she didn't come till 1. She was working, she had a meeting in Bangkok. Almost missed the boat, but we're here now. This is the pet dog. Thinks I'm pointing a gun at him. Come here, here. Ma, 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 ma. Oi. Boy. I call all dogs boy or ma. Oi, come here. I just come out, he was chilling out the front here, taking in the view. Look at the colors of that. I can get used to that real quick. Time to eat. On me uh, Pat Pong video, I put the call out. Is it Hank Marvin or Lee Marvin? The slang term for starving. The results have come back and it's official. It's Lee Marvin, starving. That's all there is to it. End of the argument. Lee Marvin, starving. That's me right now. So the cocktail menus come out. Normally I don't really care what's in a cocktail, I just go by the names. What do we reckon DF's gonna go with? I'll have the swimming orgasm, thank you. Swimming orgasm? Swimming orgasm. This one, swimming orgasm. You see? Oh, okay, huh? What's in that one? Swimming Alright, she'll be back with the info. Swimming orgasm. Could have gone the zombie, DF logo style. White Russian, don't mind a white Russian, if I must say so myself. On the menu tonight, Pad Prick Gang, chicken. Chicken, beans, limes, kaffir, lime leaves, a few other things. Got the rice in the shape of a turtle. Cucumber, but I'm not a fan of cucumber, I won't be eating that. Chicken satay. There's the swimming orgasm. Thai Regency and Kahlua. Can't see any Kahlua in there. Passion fruit, Majito. Majito. Tom Yum Pla. Hi, fish car. 
Smells good. It's a weird looking thing. Flower of fish. Yeah. <laughs> What's that meant to mean? Just spotted that gecko again around here. He's going after the black ants. These mosquito nets are a joke. I'm gonna reinvent them. If I can't make a million bucks out of these, I'll bear me ass on Walking Street. These things are useless. There'll be a Philadelphia lawyer to fucking rocket scientist to work around how to put these fucking things together so they fucking fit on the bed properly. It's an absolute joke. Not happy. Not happy. Alright there, yes. It's about 9.30. Going for a romantic walk along the beach. That's another DF. Little unknown fact about DF. I'm a hopeless romantic at heart. This is how romantic I am. When I got me second plate of uh, chicken satay, she goes, can I have one? I said, yeah. She goes, which one? I said, the smallest. That's the type of man I am, taking care of me, woman. Now, I made the fatal error of befriending this dog. You probably can't see him, but I've got two dogs sniffing me nuts. Get the fuck out of here, dogs. See that blue thing? That's on the end of me finger. I don't know what it is. She reckons it's a uh, firefly. But it's not moving. It's not flashing. And it's blue. I thought they're normally fucking yellow. Bring it closer. Anyway, I'm gonna take it with me. Oi! Am I romantic? Hey, would you call me Mr. Romantic? Romantic. Would you? Yes or no? Yes. Ah, oh, see, Fantastic. there you go. Mr. Romantic. Here, see this blue light on the end of my finger? You can have it. Hing hoi. You can have it. Yeah. Hing hoi, yeah. Hing hoi in nah, Thailand. Nah, actually, I want it myself. I'm going to get back to the room and check it out. The stars up here, which you can't pick up on camera, I like up on the Murray. Yarrawonga style, mate. Thousands of stars. Unfortunately, you can't pick it up on camera on this setting. Just walk the whole length of the beach with these two dogs. Like our personal guard dogs. Hey, boy. Boy. Good morning, dead Farangs. First thing I want to say is how useless are these mosquito nets. That ring needs to be two or three times bigger. Or make them square shape to go around the bed. Look at this. You can barely fit in the fucking thing. I've got a mosquito bite on me neck. Fucking dingy fucks. Dirty needles, that's what I call them mate, dirty fucking needles. But anyway, I woke up about 5.30, I had pure silence. It was great, now I can just hear the waves, listen. A few birds. <laughs> Dogs are still here. Hey boy! Got me own guard dog, I love it. And with me jocks. That one else here, who gives a fuck? Plan of the day, rent a motorbike, go for a drive around the island, see what there is to offer. Other than that, not too much. This is sensational. I thought I'd come down for a morning walk before everyone else turns up today. It's a full house tonight. I 
just thinking, I wonder if they've got a canoe. Might try and canoe out to that little island. Doesn't look too far. Don't know what that is. Anyone know? Leave a comment below. Back to bed for another hour. Go eat, get the bike, and then go. Oh. That's the fish we ate last night. No. <laughs> well, that's its brother. You funny. Thank you. Oh, there's a fish too. Breakfast is included. That's the menu there. I'm going to get the British breakfast. Got to get me money's worth. That's the most expensive one on the menu. A bit light on the mushies, but there's breakfast. The high so kin has gone on the muesli. Trying to maintain her hip reputation. Pleasant surprise. Number one, cancelled. So they knocked on our door and said, do you want to stay there? I said, yes. It's basically the same room, just a little bit more private. Room number one. We're in number eight, way down there. It's got this massive tree at the back. Let's go have a look at that. So this is the back. Check out this tree. These things coming down, man, they're roots. This thing's got to be fucking at least 50 years old. That's roots. That's not fucking branches, man. They're roots straight into the ground. Over the back here, we've got jungle. Jungle one side, beach the other. Change of plans, just had breakfast, I'm feeling lazy, going for a swim, plus it's hot, look at that, not a cloud in the sky. And Tukta, staff member here, she recommended we uh, chill in the morning and midday and then do a tour in the afternoon. It's only a very small island, you can probably do a lap in about an hour she reckons. There's about 500 people that live here and one police officer. The water's crystal clear where I am right now. We're gonna have a swim. Bobbing around like a cork in the ocean. Very peaceful out here. Away from everyone. I'm not joking. If I had a decent set of flippers, I'd probably try and swim out to that little patch of sand. Loving life, that's what it's about ladies and gentlemen, loving life. Don't stress, don't stress the small things. That's my advice for the day. Don't stress what's out of your control. What will be, will be. Could go out further, what do you reckon? Oh, this fucking thing. Oh, where are you going? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna unclip it too far up my arse crack. Me balls are getting fucking crushed. Hang on. Fucking, what are they called? I can't even think. Wetsuit, that's it. Oh, the strap that goes underneath up your arse crack. It was crushing me nuts. It's better. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, I'll go for a little bit more. Lunch time and the food's been that good here that I had to try their patty cap, the old pad kapow, moose sap, pork mince, and what's that one called? Fried rice with pineapple yes. and chicken. Yes. And I've got a chicken satay on the way because they were that good last night. Here it comes now. Thank you. All right. Got their own personalised plates. Now we made the right decision. The sun's gone away, it's definitely much cooler. There's the one owner. And a two dollar helmet for a two dollar head.
as a retired fruiterer had to pull over and check out the pineapple plantation a few baby pines so you see all these rubber trees around Thailand they collect the rubber and roll them into mats like this like a bath mat that's your raw product and then it goes on to be used to make anything from condoms to solid tires the whole kit and caboodle to do with a rubber mat myself I've actually watched a tire be made from this raw product to a tire a car tire There you go, land for sale. Ready made rubber plantation right on the beach. So I'm told the Ridgeback is a gimmick of the Trat province. Lots of Ridgeback dogs in Trat. Moving on now. got a problem with my go-go mobile G-O G-G-O spotted these things off-road I'm going to investigate not too sure what we've got here a few concrete models bit of artwork nice set of nips on her Bit of an eerie feeling standing here. Blair Witch style. Okay, it's just been brought to my attention by HSK. As you go in, can you read that sign? Can you read that tie? Anyone read that tie? says up to you I'm a bit of a green thumb so I'm really enjoying all this flora also can you I think some off my head it's like looking at it looks beautiful don't know what's in the water in Comac but I'm gonna have to start drinking some I've got to have a look. After the last effort, got to have a look. It's on the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. You got this thing. So I've spent the last 10 minutes looking for Sunset Point. They've got the world's largest advertising sign for their business. Look at that. Even then you can barely read it. Banana Sunset. No sign coming into this road. They make things difficult. Now I can hear some tunes in the distance, so this has to be it. Cheers. John Bury. John Bury. Get it? It's a joke. John Bury. It's a joke. Do you get it? John Bury. Again? John Bury. I saw Kinney of Light. You like that? Mm. That's one of the things I've picked up over the years. John. What's the difference between John and Chok D? Chok D? Chok D Gulak. So when you, you touch bottles, John or Chok D? Can. Either one. There you go. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a John. Bit of a John. Ch John Bury. Do it in Thailand with the girls in Pattaya. They love it. John Bury.
What do you reckon, HSK? Banana Sunset. What do you think, Banana Sunset? Oh, we really live with this full wind, sunshine. Even in charm, I love so much, but I love you all more than <laughs> she's had two beers. Oh my god, she's a different animal after two, I tell you. All I asked was, what do you think of the fucking sunset? First dish of the evening: mixed vegetables yes. with chicken. Yes, and chili and garlic. And chili and garlic. Number two: chicken satay. It's my fourth one for the trip, I think. They're that good. I've got to keep having them. Meal number three, Penang Mu. Fourth dish, French fry. Got a craving, had a few beers, haven't had French fries in about eight weeks. Somehow we ended up with one of these. I've just rang them up. They've got a free pickup service and they're coming to get us in 10 minutes. Gonna have a few more drinks, kick back, relax, and listen to some tunes. All right, the beast has arrived. Let's rock and roll. Let's do it. You gotta watch the branches here. You might take off your head. Now, the party don't start till I walk in. We're probably the only people here. Got that joint. There's fuck all here. TK Beach Resort. That's the name of the place. <laughs> We're the only two customers. You're kidding me. Now, this is not what I was expecting. Anyway, it is what it is. A bit of live tunes. Head on the beach. So that was a pleasant night. Didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. But anyway, that's it. Gonna call it a night, gonna call it a vid. Catch ya. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
As always, give it a huge thumbs up. If not, give it a huge thumbs down. Leave a comment. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to tell your friends about Dead Farang on YouTube. And remember, bar girls can't eat love. This has been another Dead Farang production.